Good evening and welcome to sell your own product on Amazon for income and excitement. And tonight we're having a special night. I'm having trouble with my software, so just bear with me. Anyway, we got a uh, we're coming from and we're boy, everything is really goofed up tonight. And I apologize. Uh I thought everything was fine. Here goes the logo sting. I got it to work. Well, we're, we're, so that's, we're coming from privatelabelselling.com. And we're going to go right over here because I'm not going to uh, mess around with anything else tonight. This is the, uh, uh, what we're talking about. It's just to sell your own product on Amazon for income and lifestyle. And what we're talking about tonight is the Amazon dropship product. It's our, it's a new product we brought out. We're going to teach you about drop shipping tonight. We're going to go from A to Z, I guess, on how to do drop shipping, what you need to do. And I think just kind of bear with us. It's going to be an exciting program. We've got some neat stuff to show you. And uh, we're just kind of all excited about it. What can I tell you? And uh, But like I said, I'm, uh, I got my green screen <laughs> behind me, and it's not shutting off. And I got a thing, and I got something's wrong with my uh, XSplit broadcaster. Uh, I'm telling you, I wish I was an expert on uh, software and everything like that. I could just fix it, but I'm not. So just bear with me. We're going to get through this. And it's not that I want to get through it. I'm really excited. This is this is kind of a neat subject. The subject has been on my mind for oh five to six months now, something like that. Because Amazon has done a lot of things that uh, just are not friendly to private label selling. And so, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, hey, if I'm teaching these people private label selling, and especially in this time of year, because it's almost impossible now for you to have a product, to source a product and get it set into uh, uh, Amazon by Black Friday. Black Friday is less than four weeks away, uh, less than 30 days. And so it's that time of year where if you're going to make money, if you're going to... Uh, take part in the Q4, because believe me, Q4 is big, 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 big. Some people will make almost, half, especially the ones with the toys and that, will make over half of their money in Q4. Now, as we've talked about before in this program and everything, Q4 is what I consider from Black Friday to about the 15th of January. And that's it. It's it's about six. It's about six weeks. It's about all it is. But that's all I need because, man, I'm telling you, sales are explode. Sales are just go through the roof. If you've got the right kind of product, they're going to fly off the shelf, and you're going to say, "Where did you go? You're going to go from selling just a few to hundreds." You know, so uh, 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 that's what this is all about. And so, the reason for the Amazon dropship for two reasons. Two reasons. It's the dropship project. Well, let's, I suppose maybe I get into it. I think that's one of the first flights. The Amazon dropship part, it's the fastest way to make money on Amazon. That I, I, I can't stress enough. It's the fastest way for the simple reason you can go out and find a product, you can list it on Amazon, and you can receive the sale. And that can all be done within a couple of hours. You know, so with what we teach you and it. If you know how to do it, do it right. So you get those sales and that's what you want because this is the time of year when you need to need to be making money. You know, you can make money the rest of the time of year. Don't get me wrong. I make some good money during the rest of the year. But this is the time of year when it just seems like it just, it comes in in bushels if you're doing things right. So that's what we're going to teach you tonight. We're going to talk about the dropship project. Like I say, it's not because we're putting private label down. As a matter of fact, in the, in the course, was the sponsor of this this show? We do have a uh, uh, module nine, which is all on drop shipping, and we're going to improve on that as time goes on and all that. But it it it's real informative, and so you could join the course. I, I if I were you at this time of year now, I probably wouldn't. Uh, I would start working on sourcing a product over there, with the expectation you'll probably get it sometime after the first year, and it'll be live after. Uh, the first of the year. But uh, as far as getting on Amazon, if you want to get stuff on Amazon now, take a look at the dropship project. Take a look at that. That's where to start because like I say, you can we can put products on your uh, seller central account that are going to start selling within within an hour, maybe even less than that because it doesn't take that. It says, it says Amazon, it takes about 15 minutes for a, a, a 
a listing to become live. And I find that's not true. A lot of times it's live in three, four minutes. So uh, uh, with what that said, doesn't make any difference. Even it's an hour, you know, and you're going to start making sales. So we're going to start talking about the Amazon dropship project, the fastest way to make money on Amazon. Okay, period. <laughs> I want to stress that. Uh, it's not that... Uh, uh, it's just it's just the plain fact. It's the fastest way. You go do retail arb retail. Boy, I'm getting tongue tied tonight. Retail arbitrage. You're going to have to go out. You're going to have to find the product. You're going to have to buy the product, bring the product home, uh, label the product, bag the product, send the product to Amazon. And let me tell you, when it comes at this time of year, receiving in Amazon. Uh, you're going to go from a lot of times they receive in one or two days, you're going to be a week, week and a half or so sometimes if they, they get that far behind. It's just the craziness of this time of year. So uh, like I say, period, that uh, a dropship is the fastest way to make problem, pro make money on Amazon. <clears throat> so I know people are asking, where do I find an item to sell? Well, any site online that sells is a drop shipper. If they if if you go on any place online where you go and you can buy a product and they can ship that product to you or whoever you sell, that's a drop shipper. By far. That's that's the easiest way to explain it. You know, any online site that sells is a drop shipper. There's Walmart. Walmart will ship the product wherever you want. You know, uh, eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Shopify. Now, this last one, Worldwide Brands. If you want to get into some really, really neat territory, Worldwide Brands is a a, a, a site where you can go, you can put an a, a product in there, and it'll tell you everybody that's associated with their site that sells that product and bring them up company by company, and you can make a relationship with that company. Uh, I wouldn't suggest you start out with that, but I think after that, once you get going and once you get a couple thousand in there and you're making some good money and all that, then I might go over to Worldwide Brands and, and kind of narrow it down to some really neat specialty niches uh, where you can make a lot more money. But that, that's just say, and uh, I will put a, a link to Worldwide Brands in the uh, underneath the video in, in the course, privatelabelselling.com, and go to past hangouts and you'll find this, and I will put the, a link to Worldwide Brands in there. Matter of fact, I will make me a, uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna make a uh, note right here. Okay, link to Worldwide Brands. I'm sorry, I, I just, Link to Worldwide Brands. Okay, got it down. So, like I say, that I wouldn't start out with them uh, till you understand a little bit and get things going and all that. I would, uh, if if it's me, I would go with Amazon, eBay, or some of those. And uh, believe me, you can make some good money fast on those. So, uh, uh, with that being said, uh, Worldwide Brands. I'll put a link to that. Okay, according to Marketplace Por Pulse. Uh, there are 9 million sellers in 23 marketplaces around the world. Did you hear me? There, so you've got a choice. You, there's 9 million sellers in 23 marketplaces. So you can go just about to any market you want. You can find a seller that's going to be a dropship seller, and you can sell their products. You could sell them on Amazon. You could sell them on eBay. You could sell them on Shopify. There's a lot of different places you do. It's just plain old-fashioned. Uh, marketing like started from the beginning of the world you know you went out and if you had uh, uh three oranges you could trade them for two pomegranates or something like that or whatever you want that's arbitrage and that's all we're talking about here you can find a product that you can list somebody someplace else for more money and it sells that's e-commerce that's what this is all about you know are you going to make 40 50 percent well I don't know. It all depends. But chances are you're probably going to make, I on the one thing I'm I'm talking about tonight, I make about 22%. Is that a lot? Well, yeah. If you get up there, if you're selling $20,000 a month or so, it, it, it it's enough. It's enough. You know, and I, the thing about it is, once I get it up, I can repeat, repeat, repeat as many times as I want. Uh, my partner, John, who we, we're going to talk about later on or something like that, he has got a lot of those repeats. I'm not going to tell you how many. Uh, uh, if he wants to, he can some night when he's on here. But he can tell you. But uh, uh, he's got a lot that are like. But anyway, there's 9 million sellers in 23 marketplaces around the world. 
All right. So pick one out. It's just that simple. You just go pick one out. Pick out where you can, uh, you know, you can sell someplace else for more money. And there's plenty of ways to do that. And I know this sounds like, oh, man, what am I going to do? What am I getting myself into? It's not. Just bear with me because um, we got it. We can, we can put those uh, products on your site. You'll see here in a minute. So pick one out. Pick out a supplier. That's what we're talking about. Maybe a little simpler. If you're selling on eBay, use Amazon. If you're selling on Amazon, use eBay. You could also use Shopify. You could use Etsy. You could use Walmart on either side. You know, if you're selling on eBay, you could use a Shopify site. Take the products off of there. Make sure they're on eBay, and you're you're off to off to the races. You know. Uh, so what can I say? This is that's making it a little bit simpler. I hope you get that. Uh, simpler yet? Okay. Let's say you sell on Amazon and are going to use eBay as your source for products. Now I want to tell you right now, the rest of the night, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to use that scenario. Amazon, we're going to go on Amazon and use eBay for our source site. You know, or think about when you're on eBay. Uh, let me see. You don't. A lot of the sellers on eBay have their own websites, just like a lot of them on Amazon do too. So you can go to their. You don't have to use their eBay site. You can go to their site. Uh, it doesn't make any difference how you do that, but I just wanted to explain that too. So what I want you, what you do here, you could. Well, if you actually follow along, we're probably going to be going too fast for you to follow. Along. You go to eBay and find a product you would like to sell. It's really that simple. Just go to eBay. It's eBay.com. Uh, and go through, look at their products, their products, their products. Find a category you like first. And then go pick, pick some products you would like to sell. And then you open another browser window and, and in, uh, bring in Amazon on that browser window. But not Seller Central. I want you to bring in plain old Amazon. And it would be split wide in a minute. So then you take that item that you found in eBay. Uh, and we won't, I guess I won't use that. I was going to say find something, but I don't want to go over it or all that. So copy the title from eBay in the eBay uh, page that you got up there. They'll have a title up front, just like it does on Amazon. Or they'll have a title. Copy that title, paste that title into the Amazon search bar. Now, one more time, you're going to copy the title from a eBay, be in your mouse, and then go over to click over to Amazon and put click that title and paste it into the Amazon search bar. All right, that's the first part of that simple, and I hope that I hope I got that uh, to you. Not trying to. Uh, I'm trying to keep it simple is what I'm trying to do, guys. And it's really not that complicated. It's not. You did exactly. You find a product over on eBay, copy it, copy that uh, title, go over to Amazon and paste it in the Amazon search bar and click search. And you're going to get two things. You either get a match or no match. That's about as simple as can be. You're going to get a match or no match. All right. So we're going to pretend that you got a match. It's going to happen quite a few times. Now, it doesn't mean that this is the item you've got to do. Bear with me. You've got a match. Make sure. Go back a couple times and make sure everything's exactly. <coughs> it's the same as a liquid. Make sure it's the same amount of ounces or it's a <coughs> the not only the brand name, but the model number is the same. You want to make sure you got an identical match. Okay, once you got an identical match, then is the price higher on Amazon? If the nice the the product is not higher on Amazon, if it'd be lower, and you're going to find some of those. If the price is lower on Amazon, then just go on and go to uh, go back to eBay, pick out another product, do the same thing till you find one that the Amazon price is higher. Okay, then is it high enough for you to make 20%? In other words, if you're, uh, if eBay, yeah, if eBay is charging $10, is, is, are they charging $12 over at Amazon? You know, I'm, 
that's what you're looking for. Or hopefully they're charging $14 over at Amazon, you know. And so there is a product that you can sell. You can buy every day on eBay, and you could fulfill it to your customer on Amazon. So what you want to do is if – now follow me. On the Amazon page that you're on, this, this product that you found that you can buy over on eBay, on that Amazon page, on the bottom – I mean the – the right hand column of the Amazon page. If you go down underneath, uh, they'll have something about you. They'll have your your uh, thing in there. Do I ship it to you know like I'm Hope Sound, Florida, and all that? And you go on down, go on down, and you look right there, and there's going to be two little little circles, and the one is going to be sell on Amazon. It's just a little tiny. It's maybe a half inch by about three quarters of an inch little button. And what you do is you click on sell on Amazon. All right. Now you you and when that does that, you're gonna get a a, a page that's gonna come up, and that page is gonna have five or six real questions. The first thing is uh, description, and you're this this way you're always selling new, so there's no reason why you have to put anything in the description. If you want to put uh, a couple comments or something in that description, you can, but Amazon really doesn't like that. They kind of uh, frown on that, so I wouldn't. And the next thing it's got, they'll, they'll, the next question is, how many do you have to sell? Well, when I'm first starting out with an item, I always put five. <laughs> to me, that's a magical number. I don't know why I just put five in there because you can change that any day, any time you want to 15, 20 or how many. Because it, it, the supply actually all depends on how many the people you're buying it from have gotten. You're not really going to know that. So I just put five in there. Okay, then after the five, they're going to say they're going to say match the low price. Now. If that is a price above twelve dollars, you hit you you can hit match, or you can put whatever amount you want to. That's the price you're going to sell on Amazon. But be cognizant of one thing: they they've got a little thing that says uh, shipping underneath there. Now, uh, this is now, I have it set in my seller central settings that any product I sell is not charged shipping. I do that for a couple of reasons. The main one is it's simpler and it's easy and I don't have to mess with shipping. The second thing reason is the supplier I use has a, a, a policy or rule or what do you want to call it? I think it's great. A policy that they don't charge shipping over for any item that's over fifty dollars, so I don't sell any of their items. I don't sell a product over fifty dollars. I mean, under fifty dollars. You know, I'm going to tell you right now. It when it comes to product and price, the higher price products you sell, the more you're going to make, the less work you're going to have because you can you can take a a hundred dollar product and just do it one time, or a ten dollar product and do the same work ten times. It's not worth it. And especially if my supplier is, like I say, me free shipping anything over $50, why wouldn't it? I just set my filter for $50 and and go like that. So uh, that's the price. Uh, and we're talking about the price button again. How, I just got off on that $50. But you want to, if, uh, like I say, if you, I would match the low price as long as you can make money at it. Now, I'm talking at least 20% here because you take Amazon's uh, fee, fee. Amazon's fees is up to almost 12%. You know, sometimes it's even more like that. You go check it out and look at it. It's up like that. You got to watch it. So uh, I take the price. Now, follow me. Your price from your supplier. Remember, I don't have to worry about shipping, so there's no worry about shipping. If you've got to worry about shipping, you've got to add that in. But the supplier, the supplier's price times 1.3. That's my lowest price, and there's room to put that in. We'll talk.
talk about later. And, and then for the higher price, I go the, the supplier price times 1.6. That gives me a, a, a pretty good margin. And if, if I should happen to run on a, a price, I mean, a, a price on here that there's nobody, I'm the only seller on there, I believe me, I'll go to 1.6. Because uh, I use a repricer and if somebody comes on, it'll go down. But we'll talk about that later. But anyway, uh, um, where am I at? Okay, so, so 1.6. And then the last thing you have to do. It comes down, it's the price. Oh, and then the next under the price is there's a, a thing for sales tax. Now, if you charge sales tax, you need to click on that and make it sales taxable. If you don't charge sales tax, don't worry about it, but you're going to have to get into that because that's the next thing on those five things. That's the next thing to charge sales tax, and it's either taxable or untaxable pretty much for us unless you got a tax except thing uh you know like i live in florida uh groceries are tax exempt and some of that stuff so uh you worry about that but if you're selling like a uh, uh, uh let me see if you're selling a, a a skateboard it would be taxable there's no doubt about it you know so you just charge it put it taxable uh but that's the way it is you check oh and then right underneath that there's what they call, they're asking you for your SKU number or identification number. Now, this is really important. When you when you put that on, erase whatever they've got because they're going to have one. They're going to take it off the listing. And you don't want that to be, you're allowed to make your own listing because the only person that sees this or cares about it is you. It's just to identify your product. So if you're, if you're say, uh site that your suppliers on is say let's just call it abc supplies all right so the leach tenor cutter i would put abc and then their number for that product and every site and you're gonna it's gonna be on their site just pull that number off put an abc and put a dash and then their number that's all you have to do that's fine with amazon amazon loves it because that's the identifier that the only person that's going to make it mean anything to is you. And that's how you're going to keep it straight. And that's how you're going to be able to identify your products and where you have to go when you sell one. You want to know where to go. And that's where where to go over there. Okay. So, and then the last thing is I, it's, it's got a, two things down at the bottom, two little bullseye or what you can either. I want Amazon to fulfill this product of itself or I, I want to fulfill this product myself when it sells. Click that. Make sure you check that. I want to fulfill this product when it sells yourself. And then you got all that done. You click underneath, commit, commit, click, <laughs> submit listing. And you're immediately going to come up and say, congratulations, your product is now listed on Amazon and uh, all that good stuff. And uh, that's it. And it's, it's going to say, it gives you the usual. They, they always say 15 minutes for everything. It'll be live on Amazon within 15 minutes or so. It's usually, like I say, less than that. doesn't make any difference. It even takes the full 15 minutes. What difference does it make? You know? And then you're subject to selling that product right after that gets listed on Amazon. So I'm going to say it's possible within 15 minutes that you could have a sale. Uh, one thing I want to say is uh, Amazon, one really neat thing is when you list I cannot prove this, but it's almost, I think, as long as your metrics are good and everything, when you submit that, for some reason, Amazon moves you to the head of the list. So the next time somebody comes to look at that product, it should be you. Now, that's just a, an added thing, and that's something that I noticed, and uh, uh, that's how it is. So just wanted to pass that on. All right, so you've got your listing on Amazon, your listing is your listing is live, and if I uh, no, it's a numbers game. What's a numbers game? You know, numbers game is you know uh, <laughs> if you throw so much, you know what, against the wall, some of it's going to stick. That's the numbers game, and it's what we're telling here. That's why we suggest you start with maybe five hundred or a thousand products you put up there because uh, uh, they're going to make you some great money and you're going to get your feet wet. You're going to be doing some stuff. You're going to be uh, 
doing orders every day and all that, which is good. That's what you want to see. There's nothing like for a new Amazon seller to start hearing that cha-ching, 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 or getting up in the morning, going to your computer, putting it on, and you've got three, four or more items sitting there. That's fun, guys. That's fun. It's not fake. It's not anything wrong with it. You're you're doing you're doing what they've done since the beginning of uh, uh, time. I, I think I've told you. You know, you're selling. You're selling, and that's all it is. It's a numbers game. So don't get discouraged. Don't get excited. You know, some people some products you're going to list on that uh, on your uh, seller account that's going to sell two or three a day others could sell two or three a month and some might only sell two or three a year but does it make any difference no did it cost you any money to get those uh, sellers on there? theoretically no because you just went over and and took it off somebody else's site and put it on there that's good there's nothing wrong with that you know amazon likes that you're called an amazon drop shipper okay so like I say, don't get upset and don't expect everything, everyone, every product you put on there to sell every day. They're not going to. Uh, I wish I could promise you that and everything, but you can't. But enough of them are going to sell every day. And, you know, we're, oh, we're going to talk about that later. And, oh, we're getting behind here. Uh, uh, I did a preview of this show, to, and we really got behind because there's so much to tell on that. And so what can I say? So we're back to the same thing. You're you copied that thing, copied your listing from eBay, put it in, in uh, Amazon, and there's no match. Nobody from Amazon has got that. Now you can do two or three things. You can, like I've got down there in the bus, just go next and go on and find another product and and uh, that you can list. You know, or you can. Uh, go to the uh, your inventory page where it says add a new product click on that and you can physically list that product on amazon it's just a lot of work and uh, <laughs> i think you know by now i'm lazy i don't don't like to do it so so i don't do it that way i just i'm on to the next one i want the one that i can do easy and get on if if, if you want to list it more power to you you probably do better than i do but that's okay you know uh have fun but the neat thing is like we we're talking about is, is when you get a notice from amazon congratulations you have just sold an item on amazon and that's one of the neatest things in the world because you get those and it tells you uh, your product your product cost and, and tells you exactly how much you made after amazon takes their cut and everything like that and you start getting them and when you wake up in the morning and you got three four five six ten those in your e inbox ooh, i'm going to tell you that gives you the oogly booglies you know, however you want to say it's 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 a neat feeling. All right, so you just sold an item on Amazon. Okay, so what do you do if you sold an item on Amazon? Well, the first thing you go and log into Seller Central. In the top left corner, click on Unfilled Orders. That'll bring you to a new page with the, a list of all your unfilled orders. Then click on your new order and print it out. This is what I do. You don't have to print it out if you don't want to, but I do because I've got a physical copy as, as well as an electronic copy of every order I've sold on Amazon. It's moved here, right here to my desk, and it's a good thing it's uh, that whole drawer is full so it, it's good time we're getting close to the end of the year because i'm going to have to box those up in that but uh, uh that's just what i do i print that out then you go over once you do that you go over to your supplier store go in your supplier store now on that sheet you just printed out from amazon there is a product uh identifier remember how we put on the thing there we put abc and then the abc numbers so what you do is click on that skip the abc because you're on the abc site but i want you to go and and copy and paste the abc product number that you put on your amazon listing so you go to abc go to their submit or search bar click their product number in there and it'll bring up the product that you sold and the rest is pretty simple. You just 
if you click if you, they order, order one you click one or for two three four or whatever it is and then you process the order you go through go through there and they're going to give you, you make sure it's the right product order it and have it sent to your buyer's address which is on that sheet i had you print out it's on there and matter of fact you can put them all toggle back and forth between the, your supplier store and your uh, Amazon store and go back and forth and copy and paste, copy and paste, because you're going to be the name, the address, the uh, uh, city, town, zip code, and telephone number. Those are all you need. Uh, and you're going to transfer those to the, the uh, your seller. Provider, in other words, the person is pr uh, providing the product you just sold and put that into their thing. You pay for it and you click it. And it's often going off to there. And you've also checked with supplier to make sure it's going to get out in the right time and everything else. And so, uh, order, and, and I'll go through this from our top left corner click on unfulfilled orders, click on your new order and print it out. Once you got that printed out, then you go to your supplier store, put your seller SKU, which I explained to it's the part that's going to be after ABC. Remember, we talked to you, we put their number in and that's going to be that so you put that in their search bar and click on it it'll bring up the pro product that you uh that you sold now you want to make sure the first couple times to get it and make sure it's exactly the product for product you, you did everything right just to make sure and uh, and that's it then you you uh, purchase it you put your buyer's address in the ship to column like that and uh, and you pay for it and you wait why do you wait well because they have to package the thing they have to send it out and they have to uh, put it on a shipper's thing and get a tracking number and that's what you that's what you're waiting for uh sometime later could be 24 hours your supplier will post the tracking number for your purchase some will even email it to you if you want. It depends on the different uh, supplier and all that. But they're going to have it on their site. All you have to do is go over to the site. You copy the tracking number and the shipping carrier. That's important. The tracking number and the shipping carrier. And you go back over to Amazon. Click on unfulfill, uh, those unfulfilled orders again. Find the order that you've got the tracking from. On the right of that order, it says confirm shipping. You can... Hit, hit that confirm shipping button and you're going to go and it's going to ask for the the shipper whether it be ups fedex uh on track or whoever it is you click that and usually uh, almost everything i send is is the next thing you ask me for standard or what kind of shipping it's usually standard ground now for some reason if you got a customer once once uh uh once airmail or something like that uh it's real simple you just put it in there and all that and then down at the bottom it, it asks for the tracking number now if you're selling in multiples and you got more than one package there's going to be a, a thing on there that says add another package and then up at the right hand corner uh, well the, the second screen will come down same as the first and up the right hand corner of each one it asks for the number of products in each package you put that in so if you got like i had one today for four so i had two orders and the, the first product package had two products and the second package had two products and each one were sent by on track and I put the serial number in there and uh, for each one because each one was different and I click confirm shipment now or click finished I'm sorry now what happens within a few minutes you're going to go back to your Amazon seller central page if you want to. This is just, uh, I think, exciting. So I check usually after I've got a bunch of them done or something. That because up in the right hand corner, there's you're going to see Amazon has got the balance of money they owe you in this cycle. Remember, Amazon, at least me, they pay every two weeks. So mine gets up there pretty good thing. And I'll look and see, make sure they added it in because it takes them sometimes five, six minutes. Uh, sometimes it's like automatic but they'll but they'll add that money of the stuff that you just confirmed your shipment you confirm the shipment and they'll add it to the balance they owe you for the next uh ship out or you know next payout they give you like say mine's every two weeks so that's exciting i put that little icon in there you can do a little dance if you want i think it is you know i think it's real exciting you know hey you know we are making pretty good hand shipment. So. So introducing 
the dropship product. What this is all about, all that stuff I told you, how would you like? Well, let me flip on the next thing. This is the dropship product. Done for you, Amazon dropship. How would you like if we provided you a list of great dropshipping companies? We help you pick out the one that can soon be your supplier. We pick out and go through all the criteria because we're going to give you a sheet with all the criteria to look for. We're going to provide you with the list of this. This is all done for you. So you're going to be off and running. We're going to take that list you give us and go with the supplier store and we're going to cherry pick your chosen supplier company for the best products to put on your site for Amazon. And then we're going to install those products on your seller central account for immediate sales. That's what you call fast guys. Fast. I think I told you a little bit earlier, I did one. It took me over three months to do it by hand before John and I got talking and, and he had the software and we put this together. But what it took me three months to do, we can do for you now within, you know, it depends on how many people we have ahead of you in the line or where you're far in the line. But once we, it takes less than a couple of days to do it if you're like the only one. So uh, we cherry pick it, pin them on, and we put those products on your seller central account. Now, naturally, when the time comes, you're going to have to give us permission or give us your password and that, and we will go in on the account, put them in there, and then we will email you once we're down. You can go back in and, and, and change your password if you want or whatever you want to do. That's up to you. But we will physically put those products on your seller central account. So you don't have to do anything except start receiving and processing the orders. And we've got uh, videos that come with the, with the dropship project that tell you how exactly how to do that, how to set it up, how to fix it so you can, it takes you a couple minutes. I think tonight I did, uh, I think I did, no, I four new orders and I had five, that I had to process for the tracking number and it took me like uh, 17 minutes, something like that. I did that before thing. thing. So uh, we're not talking a lot of work, but that's done for you, Amazon dropshipping. So I know the big thing that's going through your mind, at least would be on mine, is you wanna know, well, what kind of returns? What, can I make any money? And yes, you can make money. Now, are you gonna make as much as private label? Probably not but you're going to make it a lot faster and a lot quicker to turn around. You know, and like I say, right now you can't, it, it'd be almost physically impossible to go out and source a product and get it into Amazon by Q4 for the fourth. Uh, and Amazon won't accept very many, especially on a new product because they've got that goofy rule. And that's one of the things I, I disagree with that they are. So uh, I'm not going to fight it and do anything else, but this is, things that you can do now so you can enjoy and you can have the returns for the q4 and you can keep doing this month after month and month and uh, it's neat so what kind of return i know this is really hard to see and it's this is the first time i ever did this and i don't like uh, uh telling people how much i make or anything else and i'm really not i'm just i'm just showing you what you do and you can't read that up there but i've got this set for september 1st to september 30th uh, the reason I didn't use October is because we had a hurricane down here and for two months in, I mean, two weeks in October, pretty much two weeks I was out of town. I had to shut my account down. You know, there's a, a button on your account that you can shut it off or you can shut it on. It's called vacation mode. You just push the vacation mode and within 15 minutes, all your uh, products are gone and they won't show up again until you put return from vacation or, you know, turn your accounts back on. So anyway, uh, that's really the new October. I just did September. And that's when I was still building the, uh, this one here. This is a thousand, it's thousand plus. I think it's thousand twelve units is what I've got on this account. So uh, I had 93 sales. And out of those 93 sales, I sold 123 products 
man, I can't hardly read it. Uh, 123, okay. which gave me a, a an average of 1.32 products per sale. My average selling price was $176.35. Now, I explained a little bit about that. Uh, well, let me finish this. And of those products, I sold 16,400 and I think it's $408.96, something like that. Uh, and this breaks down, and I can't possibly read it, and I know you can't, so we're not going to go into it. But let me explain this. I think I, I, I told you my supplier has a $50 limit on product. Anything over $50 ships free. So I, I told you I do the easy way. I don't like messing with shipping. I don't like putting shipping down or anything. I've got it set in my seller central account that everything that I sell automatically ships free. And let me tell you, some of these products that you're on here are heavy products. There's, a, well, I'm not going to get into that, but they're heavy. So sometimes we're talking about a lot of weight, but it doesn't make the difference because everything I sell ships free. Okay. So, and I sell at a average. Remember I told you I do 1.3 to 1.6. So it, it averages out about... I make about 21.7, pretty close to 22%. So on that figure, 16,400, I made about 3,600, $3,600, something like that. Uh, this is just, you know, and I just want to tell you, so that's what you can expect to make. So, uh, I think that's good. I, it's not near as good as selling private label because you can make a lot more money. But this here is a lot faster. That's within a month. And like I say, it took me three months to assemble this site. We're talking about doing it in, in less than two weeks. And you should have two weeks. You should be able to pay for your product on the, the first two weeks. Maybe three depends on it. All depends on the product you sell and everything else. I'm sure not here going to say that you're going. I'm going to guarantee you you're going to make uh, four thousand dollars a month, six thousand, two thousand, or anything else. I'm not here to tell you because a lot of it depends on the the products you pick and what kind of price range you want and everything else. But we'll work with you on that and we'll explain that to you. And so uh, that should be no problem. Uh, so on the dropship project now. We've got two options for you because we know that everybody's not going to be able to start out the top auction and everything. We've got a, a, another option, and there's nothing wrong with that option. If you, you want to start out, you can start out at that. But if, if, I, if you have the money and if you have the – you can exp, – uh, if you can uh, – <laughs> Put the time in and you want to start making money right away like you know some people say man terry i am so close and i just want to make enough money so i can quit my day job and come home and do this full time well folks this is the answer to that it, it, it's just that simple you know you can you can quit it come home if you're making close to uh, three and a half four thousand uh that might not be uh Depends on where you live, too. Now, I live down here, and uh, that's a fairly substantial amount of money down here. But I realize sometimes if you live over in California or someplace like that, it's, it's not the world, but it's enough to get you home and get you started, and you can build on that. You know, uh, it's what you need, you know. I, I, I don't know how to tell you that, and I'm not trying to, to fill you with sky-high promises and everything else, but I want you to understand. But... This is the one thing that you can go and you can get into it and you can make your money back within 30 days. It should be should be no problem at all. You know, so anyway, we're going to go two options. In each option, we will provide you with a list of great drop shipping companies. Now, that list we got is, I think, over, oh, man, it's almost like 40,000 suppliers in there. But we, we've narrowed it down. We've got some ideas and we can help you out. We mainly didn't know what kind of what kind of products you like to sell or, or what you're really interested in so that we can go from there and we can give you some great companies. So, uh, so like I say, we're not going to 
leave you there. We're going to work with you. And then once you pick that company, then we're going to take those products and we're going to cherry pick that company to select the best products for your drop shipping portfolio. And then we're going to install those products on your Amazon account. Now, like I say, at some time in the future when we get ready, you're going to have to give us your uh, account login, you know, your name and your password and that. And then once we get done, we will email you. You can go back in and you can change your password if you want, whatever you want to do. You know, not trying to tell you what to do, just giving you ideas. And then uh, we're, we've installed those. And then we're, we're going to provide you with step-by-step -step instructions for you to be successful. In other words, we've got uh, one video out or one piece of, well, it's a video, or it's not a piece of video, it's a, it's a download with a list of all the things you need to look for in the drop shipping suppliers. And we're going to do that, and I'm going to do a video on it. And we're going to have those. Those are probably all going to be done this next week. I was kind of working on this all week. Matter of fact, this is, I need to explain this. This is something that we decided to do in a hurry. And that's the reason, you know, I don't have all those fancy graphics about how much we made here and how much we made there because uh, we just decided to do it a, a few weeks ago, John and I. And uh, we've been kind of going, it's mulling through our heads and stuff like that. So we've got this set. So we've got those products. Uh, and we're going to install them on your account, and we're going to provide you with the success. And you will also get my cell phone number. Uh, so you can call me. You can ask me questions. What I'll be there for, if the people in the group want to, we can start a little uh, uh, forum group. But right now, I'm not going to uh, worry about that. We'll talk to the people that are in it. There we go. We've, we've got a few people in already because I mentioned it last week, and some people were really excited. It's here. I really want to know about it, and, and so uh, uh, they signed up. And uh, uh, so when we get a few few more, we're going. To, and I'm going to tell you one thing too, because we're not, 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 not. This is not going to be so. I, I I just sent this out to a small list. I we're not interested in in hundreds and hundreds of people coming in because that's just too much work for either John or myself. And we're not interested in that. We're keeping down this in the little digits and uh, that's the way it's going to stand. And, and we're going to be this. And then we'll have to see you in January because we're getting close to Christmas time and uh, uh, don't want to be any pressure. Anything else? I'm retired guys. I've been retired for a few years now and uh, I'm not, ready to go back in all the time. I, I like doing this, love doing this. As a matter of fact, I love teaching and I love helping other people make money in that. And that's what this is option it, you know. So we provide you the step by instruction for you to be successful. All right. Now here is the cost in that. You know, because you're asking how much is this and all that. We tried to keep this reasonable because like I say, we expect you you should be able to make your money back the first month. Now, is that guaranteed? No. I'm not going to sit here and guarantee it. I just know from personal experience that's what uh, we've been able to do, and there should be no reason why with uh, us coaching and helping you, you, shouldn't be, you should be able to do that yourself. But option one, we will install 500 products. That's from the, the supplier you want. We're going to take their products and, and, and install them on your Amazon seller's account. The cost is $12,000. $1,250. Option two, and this is the one I suggest if you can, uh, uh, if you can swing it, because this, this is, this reads a thousand products gets you where you want. You're going to be have you're going to be having, uh, kachings or whatever you want to call them, uh, constantly throughout the day on, on something like this. You should be able to average, uh, well, you saw what I was averaging, uh, but it, it should be able to. And, we will install a thousand products on your Amazon set. Cost is two thousand dollars. Now, I know this is something new. Uh, oh no! Oh no! I clicked the wrong thing. Hold <laughs> on a minute. Uh, what kind of returns? View reading view reading. Okay, I'm going to have to click on here and click all the way to the end. That's all right. Just bear with me. Okay. 
What, what I was trying to get it, I, I'm trying to get the link is down there and it's covered up and I'm going to have to, uh, uh, I'll have to figure out something here in a minute. Let me finish telling you about it here. The, uh, I know this is something new we dropped on you and like I say, it's in our, so we decided that for you first to come out tonight and, and through this Sunday, we will give you a 25% discount on each one of those options to get it going because, quite frankly, we'd like a, a, a little testimonial from you after you get it on as to how it works and everything else, you know. Uh, but that's not mandatory or anything else. We're just we're offering a 25% discount on either one of those options uh, on the – uh, da, 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 da. On, on these options. Uh, I'm just trying to think how to do this. Hold on just a minute. I know what I can do if I take this out of the way. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it should be here. And yeah, let me try like this. There it is. Ha ha. Got rid of my. What was it? Can you see it now? It's privatelabelselling.com forward slash question mark page underscore ID equals 913. Wow. And that's, <laughs> that's where it's at. That's where the buy buttons are. And you could join that. Like I say, it'll, it'll automatically take the 25% off. It's going to do that through Sunday. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to sit up at Sunday night at 12 o'clock to change it or anything like that. Don't worry about it. Uh, Monday morning, my schedule goes something like uh, I get up, I eat breakfast, I go for my walk, I come back and I walk, watch uh, with a cup of coffee. I watch mornings with Maria and then she gets over about nine. And so about 9.15, I probably get in here to the computer. And at that time, uh, well, no, I will check my products first and get them loaded and that so sometime after that what i'm saying i will ch change the buttons back to the uh, uh, original 1250 and the two thousand dollars so you've got until uh monday morning eastern standard time. eastern standard time my wife's in the background telling me you've got that to uh, if you'd like to join uh we'd love to have you with us on this journey because uh, uh this is really neat guys and like i say you can make some money good money fast in and that's what it's all about. So with that being said, uh, I do have the uh, chat box open. I see there's not too many people left. Uh, I will put it in there if you want to ask me any questions. I will put it there. Uh, Well, I was trying to do a, uh, and you know, I, hmm. it's hello me. There you can see it up in the corner. If you invite Scott, I'd be glad to ask some questions or anything else. I apologize. Uh, they told me last week, and I hope it didn't the same. I think that uh, the chat box wasn't working, that people were asking me questions last week, and I didn't see it. And I'll be honest with you, it's, it's hard for me when I'm doing these PowerPoints to uh, uh, remember to look over there and see if there's any questions. I uh, uh, I apologize for it. Uh, don't mean to uh, uh, play games or anything like that. I'm not. Uh, that's what, uh, and I'm there now. If you want to ask any questions, I'll believe. If not, why, we're going to sign off here in a little bit. But there's your, uh, it's privatelabelselling.com, uh, page I. D equals 913. You can go that, or if you can just go to the regular website, privatelabelselling.com, and you're going to see up in the right-hand corner or the, in the uh, bar up there, you've got to cite the dropship product. You click on that, it takes you to the page where this video is going to be and uh, some other stuff, but it also got right down there, proceed to checkout. You click on that, take you to the checkout page, and 
the buttons are going to be right there, the PayPal buttons, and you can pay and uh, get into this. And man, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be set for, you're going to have products in your uh, seller account that are going to sell in Q4. So uh, uh, it's up to you. Up to you. We're not here to force you, not here to uh, anything else, except I can just say that uh, uh, you're going to have a great time because there's nothing greater to tell you in the world to wake up and find uh, orders in your box. And then if you're doing during the daytime, if you're doing other stuff right here, that cha-ching, and you know you sold a product, and all you have to do is ship it out, and uh, it's yours, and you're making good money on it. Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, I appreciate you. I care for you. And if we can help you out, if you need any more information, give me a, uh, 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 send me an uh, email. You know, it's terryshire at gmail.com. And uh, I'll get back to you. Be glad to. So uh, with that being said, I see we're not having any questions or anything like that. I am going to sign off because I'm getting thirsty. We'll have some water right now. And uh, uh, you have a great day, you know. Uh, what can I say? We're for you. We're here to help you. And that's the name of the game. So uh, with that, I am going to stop the broadcast. I'm going to wish you a good Thursday evening. And uh, we shall see you on the next broadcast. So see you later.